Well, if you understand the laws, you'll know that anything you write down, you can reach. When you have a dream or a goal, you want to commit it to writing. You want to take your pen and put it in words. The first step is to keep living with the idea. Don't let anybody steal the dream. Put it in writing. Write it out as clear as you can. And your words have got to be so clear that if you give it to somebody else, they would get the same picture in their mind as you've got on yours. See, words are symbols, and every symbol has a corresponding image. So we want to put it in words that would trigger the same picture in somebody else's mind. That's crystallizing the goal. And then write it out often. Live with it often. And you will set up an attractive force because the image is setting up the vibration. The images in their mind control the vibration you're in. Now the vibration you're in is going to dictate what you attract to you. So the first trick of life is fall in love with the idea. You will move on to the frequency that that idea operates on. Everything operates on frequencies. You've got to get on the frequency of the good that you desire and everything will move toward you. You will attract it. It's a matter of decision. Now, it may take a while before it manifests outside, but when it happens inside, it's already happened. You don't have to know how you're going to reach it. That I know where I'm going, and I know I'm going to get there. I don't know how I'm going to get there. See, the how is what stops most people. Most people get stopped with the start. <laughs> they never get started because they can't figure out how. And so people then later in life, if they don't know how to reach the goal, they say, I guess I can't do it. Well, if you knew how to reach it, you would have it. The trick is in figuring out how to reach it. The how is the important thing. You hold the image and every day you're moving toward it. And the how becomes very interesting. And something may be a problem. And as you solve the problem, you take a step ahead. It's not only going to be good things. Sometimes it's bad things. But out of all confusion comes order. And it'll be a higher degree of order than that which existed prior to the confusion. So the answer to your question is make sure you've got the goal crystal clear in your mind. You've got to have a dream. You've got to be working towards something. Otherwise, you're just existing. You're putting in time. You're not really living. You know, it's unfortunate, but when most people, when their heart stops beating, it's going to be a formality. They've never really lived. I think we should do what we love doing with our life. The two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you discover why you were born. People are born rich. They're born with deep reservoirs of talent and ability. Our problem is we're not made aware of it. Riches to me is develop the talent and the power that we've got within us. We're God's highest form of creation. We're born with rich resources inside and it's our responsibility to bring them out. I believe we're all hardwired to do something. I think there's a great purpose in life. I believe we've got tremendous power within us and we've got to bring it to the surface. We're not short of power, of intelligence, of wisdom. All the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is omnipresent, we've got it inside. It's a matter of bringing it to the surface. Work at understanding yourself. Get to know who you are. You're God's highest form of creation. There is nothing on the planet that will equal you or me. So the real secret of life is to become more aware of who we are and what we're capable of doing. And I think that's when we're really going to start to live. Mind is the greatest power in all of creation. God is the creator and our mind is the greatest creation. We can literally do anything. If we can imagine it, we can do it.